Hi guys! I wanted to do kind of a fun little video. I like to cook a lot and this week I wanted to surprise Morgan and pamper her a little bit. We've had kind of a rough time a little bit lately just with Maddie and making sure her meds are all set and stuff and it's kind of fallen to Morgan to do all the meds. So I'm making her kind of a fancy little dinner which I love doing. My inspiration for building the whole dinner was the one of the items we had at the food and wine um, at Epcot when we went in September. And one of the items we had that was gluten-free was this Brazilian cheese bread and I fell in love with it. So I am making some meat, some roasted veg, some cheese bread, and we've got sangria in the fridge. It's gonna be a good night, but it's a secret. So don't I'm starting with like a fatty meat. They did not have a pork shoulder at the store So I went with beef chuck. Hopefully that works. Um, I've never made slow roasted meat before <laughs> this could end disastrously I'm gonna cook this guy slow roast this guy for about four hours and it's three o'clock now So hopefully he'll be done a little bit before four hours or else this will literally be a very Brazilian late night meal and then I'm gonna work on dessert. We're gonna have like a really low sugar uh, chocolate mousse because we both really like chocolate. What I'm doing is I'm sauteing, simmering, melting in my sugar which is just, I'm just using like raw honey. With the uh, raw honey is some coconut milk and then I'm gonna pour it over some cocoa powder, some espresso powder, a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna whip in some heavy whipping cream. It'll make like these little chocolate mousses. I have raspberries. We might put some extra whipped cream on top. Shh, don't tell Morgan. To be honest, it smells and looks like brownie batter. I'm gonna mix it with my uh, homemade whipped cream probably once it cools down because that's the recipe I got it has to be cool. I might not show you guys all of the inner workings of the cheese bread or the roasted peppers or the sauce I'm gonna make but I will definitely show you the the end sequence when we surprise Morgan and show her all of our dinner stuff she's about to be home soon so I don't know how sneaky I can be if you guys want the recipes or if you want me to go through like making each item just comment down below let us know if you like this stuff if you want to see more of the cooking stuff and we'll do that they look so good Yeah, I just wanted to do something special to thank you for all your Aww. help with Maddie. So we have roasted veg. Let's see how good it looks. Roasted veg. That's my seat. Don't sit there. Oh, this is your seat? <laughs> yeah. Got it. With a chuck roast that I slow roasted for mostly afternoon. And then I made an avocado cilantro uh, sauce on top. And... What is this? We have Brazilian cheese bread. Wow, you homemade that? So that's why it smelled like pizza. Yeah. Let's dig in. Let's do it. I like baby pieces. Yeah. Is it good? It's really tender. Yeah? That's yeah. good. I was really nervous. Oh my God. That was really good. Yay! Um, it's a success, you guys. It's really good. <laughs> it's like really crunchy on the outside, but it's just as soft and like cheesy on the inside as it was at Epcot, so nailed it. Clean, Clean plate. plate. It was so good. You make so many really good um, meals that tend to be very rich. This was like the perfect amount. So flippin' good. The meat was a little spicy. Oh yeah, it was a little bit of jalapeno in it, but yeah. it wasn't too bad. So I'm excited for dessert. Yeah. No clue what it is. Yeah, that's good. But my tummy is a little full right now. We're gonna take a breather and then we'll come back to it. Yeah. Awesome. We are ready. So what what time is it now? It's 7 08. Dessert time is the it's correct dessert. answer. <laughs> dessert is a chocolate so mousse cute. with homemade whipped cream and raspberries and a little bit of chocolate powder on top. So we have a whole bite here yes. of everything. Loose whipped cream and raspberry. Wow, that looks like a good bite. I know, I'm salivating. Okay. It looks so good, it's really cold. Mm. That was a pretty big bite for you. <laughs> so good, because the raspberry is so tart. Yeah. But I'm glad that the mousse isn't like overly sweet. Huh? So it's actually like a paleo recipe. So there's like in there's four servings. There's less than like one tablespoon of honey in every serving. It's so sweet. So yeah. Is that the honey. 
Uh, well, there's a, there's some extra sweetener, a little bit extra sweetener in the whipped cream, but not a lot. What would that be? The sweetener is the honey. It's not too rich though. Yeah. Man, that is good. Yeah. So I didn't get a raspberry in mine yet. I just have the chocolate mousse and the whipped cream in it. That is so good. Right? It's so light. Yeah. And fluffy. There's just cocoa powder in that. There's that's no crazy. actual chocolate. It's crazy. So that's going to do it for us today. Thank you for coming on this journey of me creating a whole really intense homemade meal for Morgan. And I wanted to cook my thanks for helping out and being really supportive. And it's really meant a lot to me. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Really good. Those are delicious. So that's all for us this week. And we will see you guys next week. All right. See you real soon.